How to use Apollo.io step-by-step tutorial. Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on Apollo.io, how to search, engage, and convert over 250 million contacts at over 60 million companies with Apollo sales intelligence and engagement platform. So let's get started. First, what you guys can do is you can go to Apollo.io and you will get to this website right here. Apollo is an amazing search and and analytics platform that allows you to improve your website and your business. In order to get started with Apollo, you can just click on sign up for free. We can sign up with our email address or with our Google account or Microsoft as well. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and sign up with my Google account. Once you sign up, you have to give access to your email address and then your Google calendar. So I'm going to click on allow. So we have signed up and this is where we will get after the initial sign up or sign in to your Apollo. So we have home and in home we have onboarding, cockpit, then we have our quick step guide for just like beginners and then we have search, engage and enrich. In engage option, we have sequences, emails, calls, tasks, meetings. And then we have enrich, which has overview, CRM enrichment, CSV enrichment, API and job changes alert. So I'm going to take you to our search. In our search, we have people and companies. So the first that we do is we actually create our contacts. We create our people and companies. So I'm going to take you to the people right here so that I can show you how to create and add a new person or how to actually create list. So here we have list, persona, name, job, titles, company, location. So it is actually a really good platform to manage our business and to actually engage with our team and to actually engage with our customers we can see we can add more than one people and we can actually import our list here we have columns that we can create with it what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the list right here and then select the list if you do not have a list created you can just go to the list option here and click on new list you just have to enter the name so once you have created a list, you can now add it to your people right here. Then we have companies. So this is how you just simply create companies as well. You can go to the company section here and then you're going to click on new company or import company list and you will be able to do so. We can not only, you know, check out the people, companies and lists. We also have some of the filters here. We can filter our search with these different um, technologies, um, revenue, funding and stuff. So go to the list now and we created a list just now. Click on three dots. We can add it and delete it. We can add it to the sequence as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add it to the sequence and I will comply. I'm going to create a new sequence. So to create a new sequence, let's give it a name. I'm going to call it test. Schedule business hours from Monday till Friday from 8 to 5 p.m. Or we can customize our schedule as well. Click on create and a sequence will be created with this list. Now you have to select the sequence. This is the sequence. Select the email address. Click on add to sequence and it will be created. You can see right here. Similarly, we added it to sequence. And if I take you to the sequences now, we have a list here. Similarly, we have calls, meetings, beta, emails and tasks. Let's go to the emails now. In emails, I will be able to see who opened or booked a meeting from my email. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And here we have the option of, again, sequences for in engage. We have calls, task, templates. So I'm going to take you to task as well. In emails, again, what you will find is you will find the total, scheduled. We have rescheduled. Uh, then we have delete option and others. So we can go to the tasks here and in task, uh, what we can do is we can upgrade to the professional plans for this one you will have to buy a plan to get to the task and then we have enrich where we have csv files and others that we can import to our apollo so we have crm enrichment uh, csv enrichment api enrichment and job change alerts when it comes to the enrichment plan on apollo so apollo is like all in one platform with a lot of different options available when it comes to engaging we will be able to empower contacts to book time on our calendar we can make and answer record and transcribe calls we can build an automated process to set meetings and that's what we do in the sequence and then we have emails as well let's go to the meetings right here in meetings i will be able to schedule uh, meetings with uh, within my calendar what calendar it is it is going to be the google calendar that we gave access to Apollo in the start. 
You can see share your calendar and availability with just one link so people can schedule meetings directly with you, no back and forth required. So this will automate my work, my meetings. And if you deal in a business where you need to schedule meetings a lot, you need to save time, then you can of course use the meetings option here. In sequences, let's go to the sequences now and you can see we already have one created. How? Because this is the sequence that I created with my uh, from here, from people. To create a new sequence, you can just click on the new sequence option. We have new, clone or pre-build. So I'm going to go with the new one. Again, we just have to enter the name or we can, because we have seen how to create a new one, I'm going to go ahead and create a pre-build where I will be able to choose from a template. Event invitation, upcoming renewal, targeting low adopters. Then we have meeting no show inbound sequence. So what kind of flow, email flow or sequence you want to create? So I want to create one for event invitation send email day one send follow-up on day four and send follow-up on day seven so these are the three steps for the flow that we have created for the sequence but if you want to add more into it then you can just click on show and it will show you or you can delete it as well i'm going to click on create and customize and it will take me to my option right here so we have first email which is going to be the automatic email we have second email and then we have third email. You can add another step if you want. If you do not want to add another step, it's fine. Uh, it's just going to be three steps. If you want to add, click on add step at the bottom and you can add a waiting period maybe. I'm going to go ahead and wait for one day. Click on add and it will be added right here. A wait of one day at the bottom. So this is how we add our you know sequences and then you can customize your email as well this is what the email looks like and you will enter what you want to write and customize it so this is how you create an email flow or a sequence using apollo.io you can also import lists from your gmail we have activity log and then we also have reports available to help us with the analytics and the stats of what's happening with our business and what's happening with our sequences email marketing and much more so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 